Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We're in the tour van testing out some new irons for 2021. It's the Callaway Apex 21 and Callaway Apex DCB 21. Uh, both going to be great options here in 2021 and beyond, really. Uh, and of course, I know you've played Callaway irons before. Callaway always delivers in the iron category. So uh, we shouldn't expect anything less uh, from these two models in particular. Uh, there also is the Apex Pro as well as kind of the final piece to this Apex series for 2021. But we've got the standard Apex and the Apex DCB here today. Um, I think they've done something really special here because they found a way to make a forged iron, but also incorporate their artificial intelligence into the club face. So they've kind of combined that great feel with that explosive distance that AI delivers. So, uh, Thomas, I'm excited to get your feedback on these. Uh, but we'll start as we kind of usually do with getting your opinion on just how they look. Uh, the aesthetics of them and comparing the the size of the club heads and then what they look like in a dress. Yeah, so first talk about what DCB stands for, deep cavity back. So with the DCB, it's a little bit larger sole and kind of a deeper cavity back with, with the iron compared to the, the apex. Looking down at it, we can you can notice that the club head is just a little bit little bit larger. You can kind of notice the top line is peeing out a little bit, a little mm -hmm. bit thicker. But yeah, you, what you can really see is just a little bit larger sole to help with turf interaction there, and then ever so slightly kind of thicker, thicker top mm -hmm. line compared to the Apex 21. So Apex 19 performed really, really well over mm -hmm. the last kind of couple of years. So it's always exciting to have like that distance player's iron that's got that forged, forged body, um, and. I believe Callaway is going to do really well in 2021 with these models. Right. It's unique because the DCB is probably a little bit more kind of game improvement, yeah. um, but it's still got that forged body. It's still going to feel incredibly good. Yeah, so that's kind of, I think, it's going to be rather unique compared to the market. I don't know if there's a lot of these out there, uh, whether it's a forged game improvement iron. I mean, there are maybe a, a handful of things that are close to that, uh, but this is truly an iron that is a forged body you know, the 1025 mile carbon steel, but then it's got the AI on the face. So I'm excited to see how that performs and what your feedback is for uh, those two irons, because I, again, Callaway always delivers when it comes to irons. Yeah, well, let's casually hit a few shots with each one and talk, take a look at the differences in, in the data. I'm going to believe that the Callaway Apex loft is going to, we don't have the specs yet, but I'm going to guess the loft on the 7 iron is going to be around about 30 and a half. I did double check in the Lion loft machine, mm -hmm. came in at 30 and a half, so that's the same as what Apex 19 was. The Apex DCB, now I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it did look like it was just going to be just a little bit stronger, maybe about a degree stronger as well. Yeah, about 29 and a half, yeah. probably. Yeah, so. we, and we measured those just in the loft and Lion machine just to kind of, just to kind of see since we don't know the specs okay. yet. But. Sweet, yeah, yep. we'll hit some shots. Uh, well, you'll hit some shots. I'll get your feedback, and then we'll talk about some of the techie stuff as well, and kind of give uh, golfers a little bit preview of what they should expect and why these irons are going to be awesome to have. Yeah, sounds good. And before I hit these shots, I do ask if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got plenty of other great content coming your way in the future. All right, let's see what it has, Thomas, here. What are you going to start with? Let's start with the Apex. So now Apex 19. I mean, player resistance iron, Apex 21 is the same. Um, now looking down at that one, do you have you know any recollection of what Apex 19 looked like? Or what, what, what is that, compared to maybe other players' distance irons, how does that one look? Yeah, I mean, the Apex 19 was such a clean looking mm -hmm. golf club. And looking down at it, once again, it resembles that nice clean, it's got like a lot of nice little rounded edges to it. You know, it's a player's distance iron, but it doesn't look like it's crazy large or anything like that. It's just got it's a lot of good, tech punched into, the, into yeah. the club essentially and um, as I mentioned Apex 19 performed really well over the last kind of couple of years in fittings and I, no doubt this is going to perform yeah. really well as well. Sure. So. Yeah let's uh, let's see you hit some shots here Thomas. Okay. There's that. I know you like to hit that draw. Yep a little bit of a draw there going on. A little over 100 feet in the air. That's kind of the, the Thomas Campbell staple right now oh, yeah. with, the, with the iron. 110 feet, yeah, 100, 100, 100 to 110 feet is kind of what tour average is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of where I want to be. Yeah, so how is that feel? Does it feel like, I mean, would you compare it more? Because it is, you know, it's the artificial intelligence club face, right? So there's kind of, it's built for explosiveness and, and distance. Yep. But then the body is that forged, um, 
uh, construction. So how does that feel? Does it feel more like your forged player's iron? Does it feel something that's really game improvement, or how does that feel? Definitely doesn't feel really game improvement. It feels better than a game improvement iron. Um, it feel like I mean, it feels softer off the face, but it feels like it it's jumping off the face at the same okay. time. And I think that's kind of reason why it's kind of put in that distance players iron kind yeah, of yeah. Ca cavity area there. Um, it's as you mentioned, kind of a little bit got a decent amount of juice. So I mean yeah. that one close to 130 miles an hour on, on bull speed there. Very good. Um, I mean, I will I say it's really not good. super loud either. Yeah. Um, which you get a lot of that with players' distance irons nowadays when they're built really hollow and they don't have necessarily the forged, you know, carbon steel necessarily body on them. You get that loud kind of clash at yep. impact. This doesn't really seem to have that. Yeah. And I must also say, you know, hit two shots so far. Looking down at it, you get, definitely get kind of used to that look. It's just slightly larger mm -hmm. kind of look to what I'm currently playing with. But it's, like I said, it's definitely not max game improvement or anything like right, that. Yeah. So. Yeah, doesn't have that sound or that look or that feel. Yep. Kept up, just a little bit. So of kept up. Face. Yep. Spin rate went on that on that one. Just went up a little bit higher. That's me leaving that face angle open there. Mm -hmm. Full speed retention was good. Lost one mile an hour, but it was still pretty good for something that I didn't quite catch. Right. Yeah, I didn't quite it perfect. Ball speed still stayed up. Yep. Still carried it. You know, 190 essentially. So yeah, it wasn't too far off. There you go. Back yeah. to the, back to a little bit of a draw there. Yeah, you've got three that are very close to each other out there, um, out in the fairway. Now, the Apex Twenty One irons have, I believe, five times the tungsten. So there's a lot of tungsten packed in those in that club head, yep. um, with the tungsten energy core in there. So that's going to provide that forgiveness and stability when you do miss. Like I think, you know, your shot it missed, and I think you can clearly see on the map that that's the one that you maybe didn't quite hit perfect, but I think the distance did keep up a little bit better than you would expect, right? Yeah, it was it was about five feet, five yards shorter, mm -hmm. and left the face a little bit more more open, and spin rate went up about 700 RPMs compared to yeah. the, the other three. But forgiveness, for sure, you know, you're not going to expect that if you if you miss hit a shot that the ball was going to do the exact same thing. But we're only right. human, <laughs> right? Oh yeah. If, if only we could do it, you know, it'd be like that. But you're gonna get that for sure out of a, a more of a max game improvement iron, but this yeah. performed really, really well. And, and you asked me kind of the feel before. This has got the urethane microspheres mm -hmm. in, in, in the back of the club here as well, and it just feels, it feels, it feels good. It feels like a forged club. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. forged club, but in a slightly larger package than what I'm used to seeing in a blade. Yeah, those yeah. microspheres really dampen vibrations really well. Yeah. So it kind of adds to the already soft feel, right? I mean, it's a forged body, and then they add that in there, and it really, for a player's distance iron, feels really soft. And that's the that's the goal from Callaway. And it seems like your feedback is that they've succeeded in, in um, you know, providing that for golfers. So now we, so you mentioned the forgiveness, right? Now this is in the player's distance category. This is supposed to be kind of the best of both worlds in terms of workability and forgiveness. Um, and I can already see you're able to hit that draw up there, yep. uh, which is your kind of go-to shot. Are you able to hit a fade for me with those irons? I can. Yeah, I definitely can. I mean, I did did one there unintentional, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll a little fade here. But for sure, a lot of you, you, this, is, this is a good point because a lot of more game improvement, some even distance players' irons that I hit, they don't draw like they should for me mm -hmm. essentially. Now this one did have that sizable draw yep. that I like to kind of see on the one, so it's definitely a very very workable golf club for it. Mm -hmm. Distance players iron. Yeah, I've noticed that there's these ones are curving. You know, they, when you hit your draw, it's thirty some feet of curve on it, which yep. I know is something you like to see when you hit that draw. Yeah. Well, let's hit a, a couple little fades here. See if I can do that. <laughs> there you go. There's a one, fade. One foot fade. One foot. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, that's gonna, that's got some nice extra height to it. It's gonna stop nicely. Yeah. Notice how the spin rate just kind of jumped up just yep. a little bit there. That, that was a, I mean, if I get it, if I wanna hit a straight shot. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's the one. It did fade. Yeah. Technically, it did fade, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for golf, and for people that kind of watch our videos, they know that I usually don't hit Right, a oh fade yeah. Well, I know your, your go to shot shape is a draw. Yeah. So I'm not, I mean, asking you to hit a fade on command out of nowhere is maybe <laughs> a little unfair, yeah. but. You did technically hit a fade there. I hit a fade for about 10 years of my life, and I don't want to go back because mm -hmm. my, my miss got further and further to the right on, the, on my bad shots. Yeah. So, and I hit the ball further because I draw the ball a little I can relate yeah. to a fade going wrong. Yeah. yeah. Face angle a little far too <laughs> open for me sometimes. Yeah. It, 
Bull was going to spin more, so I'm going to go mm -hmm. find it kind of as far. And he was sacrificed a little bit. That was a miss hit. Well, faded, but I got that one a little bit heavy. That is the, I mean, that's the fade. Yep. You hit the fade there. Yep. No, it's a little bit of fade. a drop off just because you hit it a little fat. But. Yep, the bull speed drop. Mm -hmm. But even still, I mean, it still did fly about 100 feet in the air because I, I mean, my bull speed there dropped 10 miles an hour. Yeah. So that is showing the forgiveness with this club. Mm -hmm. But clearly I missed it. That was <laughs> right. Yeah. clearly a miss I mean, it for me. Yeah, and I, that's, that's, you know, the human being hitting shots. <laughs> um, but yeah. so you've hit, I don't know, six shots now. Yep. Um, give your, your overall feedback, Callaway Apex 21. Um, you know, what's the, I guess, I'm not gonna, I know you don't like to categorize based on handicap. Um, so give me the player most or best suited to get fit for one of these sets Play in 2021. A player looking for a little extra distance but want to see something that's in a little more kind of compact shape look um, that likes the look of a club and likes the forged feel. Mm -hmm. it's, I would say um, I wouldn't put this into a scratch golfer, 5 to 520. Mm -hmm. um, once again, I don't like to categorize yeah. too much because one golfer that's a 5 handicap may have an exceptionally good short game and hit the ball kind of like a 15 yeah. handicap golfer. Right. Um, that's why I don't like to always categorize too much. Yeah, not all five handicaps or ten handicaps are built the same. Yeah, you know. But I, I, I see your point there, and I think I was I'm asking because there's going to be people in that range looking at this video, and they have the opportunity then to trade in old iron sets to upgrade here, and they can get a little bit of a discount through the Second Swing Value Guide um, at Second Swing stores with their new iron sets. So, yep. um, but yeah, I mean. Apex 21, really soft feel for a player assistance iron, sounds like. Um, I, thought the, I thought the sound was really soft too. Um, performance wise, there is forgiveness packed in, there's also distance packed in. And I mean, you get that combination, right? The, the distance, the forgiveness, and the feel is all there. And then of course, some workability there too. Yeah, uh, it's, it's workable. It's got enough forgiveness on those miss hits that's still gonna go relatively mm -hmm. close to, the, to what you're trying to do there as well. Uh, I, yeah. Apex delivered again with uh, Kelly delivered again with their Apex 21 and just like they did with the 19. So well now let's get to the Apex 21 DCB. I'm curious about that one because that's the one I think that's really intriguing, being that it is a game improvement iron, but it's still built like a forged iron at least for the body. Yeah, it's just got a little lar little larger sole, little little larger kind of top line. I believe the loft from well, so far what we've seen here it looks like it's just a little little bit yeah. stronger. Um, and I'm going to guess it's going to be just a tad more forgiving on those, on those miss hits. The other thing that's kind of unique with the DCB is it does have up to 50 grams of tungsten, okay. especially on the longer and mid irons to help, especially on get the ball up in the air sure. and help with kind of the forgiveness there as well. So yeah, so it seems like nowadays and manufacturers doing this with good reason, right? The longer irons are building with more forgiveness and the more tungsten in them because longer irons are tougher to hit. That's just the way they're, they're built. And so it's nice that they've done that with these irons is to give kind of more tungsten in the longer irons to really help golfers, um, well, A, stabilize the club at impact if you miss it at the center, for example, but also to really get that ball into the air um, a lot easier. So yep. um, I'm curious to see how this performs for you, Tom. All right, well, let's hit it. was just a little higher that one I which think is the highest I've hit at 120 mm. feet in the air which I so. think to some degree um, kind of expect that just because of all the tungsten in there but also yep. it is um, one degree well roughly one degree stronger um, yep. so that to that also you maybe would expect a little bit lower launch but interesting to see that one kind of jump up high distance yep. wise it's pretty similar I think um, I mean I know you're your seven iron is much weaker in loft, so I know you're not hitting your gamer seven iron 200 yards like Correct. these yeah. ones, but yeah. um, what did you think about that first shot? Yeah, I mean, I definitely, it just felt like it launched just a little little higher. I, hitting into the screen, I felt like it just hit the screen a little little bit higher. Didn't feel like I tried to hit it higher or anything. It yeah. just seemed like it just jumped a little bit up on me. Um, felt pretty similar to the, to the yeah. Apex. Still, still felt forged, still felt mm -hmm. you know good soft feel off, off the club face. But solid, it just right. it mm -hmm. felt good. I mean, it looks good, just an ever so slightly kind of larger 
profile with a little bit more forgiveness. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I think, I mean, they're built the same. They, there's the same materials built into each one. I think really the difference is the shaping and the DCB just being larger and that larger shape adds more forgiveness and stability. Yeah. More forgiveness, a little deeper cavity back to the DCB stands for, a little larger. So just mm -hmm. you kind know, of just increase your forgiveness a little bit and increase your launch a little mm -hmm. bit more. So. Yeah. Well, let's see a couple more here. Okay. Highest ball speed today. Yeah, that kind of jumped up. Yeah. All right, look at that height though. That so thing is launching. It's just high. Uh, that's, that's launching pretty high. I believe your, I want to say your landing angle is over 50, both of those shots too. Yeah, the last two are right around that 50. Yeah, yeah so, so interesting that we're seeing that extra height even though it is the stronger in loft, the yeah. DCB. And you bring out that dispersion on the screen real quick, you can kind of just see, so far, carry just a little bit, just a tad further. That mm -hmm. last one obviously carried a little, little bit further there as well. Those two are nice and straight though, sure. Yeah, I think interesting too now, I mean, this is only two shots, so, uh, but we are seeing, you know, the, the draw that you put together with the Apex 21, those three shots did draw just a little bit more, yeah. a little bit more curvature than those two, who, which did draw, they just didn't quite turn over as much. Mm -hmm. um, now that's, again, that's a small sample size, but that's just some, a, a little trend yeah. that might be emerging here. It just flew higher and flew a little, a little straighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That was nice there. See, that's another one too. Yeah. It's kind of similar where it, you know, launched. I did over, you know, it's 114 feet in the air. Not quite as high as the other two, but that draw was just a little more subtle than the Apex 21. Yeah, that was that was that was really smooth there. My club speed just a little bit less than the one couple before that, mm -hmm. but if you look at I, I, this dispersion screen there again, you can kind of see how it. Yeah. That one flashing right there was. Right. Was mm -hmm. really good. So. Yeah, I mean, this is what, so this is, you know, I think you expect this too. I mean, the more game improvement iron should be higher launching, should be you know, on a straighter ball flight than something in player's distance that is more workable and will, I guess, to, you know, this is, the better way to say this is that the game improvement iron is more forgiving and will hit the ball straighter. But yep. the flip side of that is that the player's distance iron will be more punishing if you, you know, hit a fade or a draw, it's going to curve more. So yep. it's going to be more offline. Um, so that's just, you know, you're seeing that with this dispersion map here. Yeah, I mean, you keep in mind those other two over there, one was the one that I left the face a little open, the other one was the one I tried to hit a little fade. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's kind of pushed a little to the right. But the first three shots I hit with the apex were just a little bit to the left, a little bit more draw, and then, then those three shots were mm -hmm. nice and straight there too, so. Yeah. That's just a little bit of difference in height. Um, landing angle a little steeper, so a lot of golfers need that extra height to get the ball up in the air to stop the ball in the green. So, mm -hmm. great option, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that thing, it, it looks like it, it's performing. I mean, look at those three shots. I mean, it, we keep in yep. mind, so this is, you know, we're talking the scale here. This is five yards, right? Yeah. And these are, all of them are within five yards or 15 feet of the very center of the, of the range where you're aiming. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good three shots there with that club, Thomas. Um, wanted to bring up these averages here too. We can just briefly go over these, but so we're seeing, you know, higher launch. Now, again, you did hit, you know, a couple of these where you're trying to hit a fade and yep. stuff like that. So this is a, not perfect, but you're seeing a lower spin, but then the higher height um, with the DCB, right? A little bit higher in the air. Yeah. Um, if we go to uh, uh, your launch angle, also a little bit higher as well. So um, I think, you know, and a little further down the fairway, but Takeaway here, I think, you know, a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit higher launch, just a little bit more packed into the DCB with that larger shape. Uh, but both are built, again, they're both forged body. So they both feel like a player's iron, but they just deliver the performance a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And did I mention it feels incredibly easy to hit too? Yeah. So, I mean, just felt like it was going to launch high and mm -hmm. go pretty straight for me. And it's now, yes, I am a, a better golfer than probably wouldn't play this. Right. But it's not a complete max scape improvement iron that looks larger, got a lot more offset on it. Looking down at this, you know, the offset's pretty good. It's mm -hmm. not like it's, I've seen irons that have a lot of offset and a lot of players yeah. don't like that or a really thick bottom sole, but a lot of players kind of don't like that. I think it's a good combination of a little bit of extra distance, a little bit of just looks better looking down at, um, and feels incredibly good too. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, and we should expect nothing less from Callaway. Again, I'll, I'll say it again, they always deliver at the irons. Whether it's, you know, the game improvement stuff, um, whether it's, you know, their epic flash stuff, um, whether it was the other, the previous generation of Apex irons, um, X-Forged, that type of thing, they always um, provide the best performance. Uh, so and I think Apex 21, Apex 21 DCB is no different. So um, I think, you know, that's really the wrap up here. These, yeah. are, these are awesome. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I don't need to hit any more shots. I've, these are enough shots for me to validate and know that Apex yeah. 21 is going to be just a tad more workable in the, your distance player's iron category. Mm -hmm. While the DCB has got a, just a tad more forgiveness in it, it's going to launch just a little bit higher, mm -hmm. be a little, just a tad more forgiving, and still feel incredibly good like the Apex always kind of produces. Yeah, well, I think we've got two winners here for 2021, uh, Callaway Apex 21 and Apex 21 DCB, two great options for golfers in 2021. Check them out at Second Swing uh, in our stores or online. And also remember to subscribe to our channel at that bottom uh, right corner. There'll be a circle for you to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and uh, we hope you put these irons in your bag and play uh, better in 2021. Thanks for joining, Thomas. No problem.